To classify the case, we need to check for the first instrument to bind at working length. SAF 2 mm should be used to treat wide canals presenting apical size 35 or larger. SAF 1.5 mm can be used with no additional glide path in simple canals presenting apical size of 20. Canals that only allow a number 15 or 10 file to be inserted to working length will be classified as medium complex and complex canals respectively. In these cases, a glide path must be created that will allow the free insertion of the SAF to working length. The minimal compressed size of the SAF is equivalent to a number 20 file with a 4% taper. A matching glide path can be created using various instruments from basic hand files and Gates Glidden drills to latest generation Nitai rotary files. More information regarding different options for glide path can be found in the SAF System Clinical Guidelines Manual. The best way to verify the adequacy of the glide path is to try to manipulate the SAF manually to working length before proceeding. Use light pecking motions to insert the SAF to working length. If resistance to insertion is encountered, stop and re-establish glide path. Excessive apical pressure at this stage may damage the file. Treat each canal using light pecking motions for 4 minutes with a recommended irrigant flow rate of 4 milliliter per minute. When used properly, the file rotates to change its axial position only during the outbound stage of the pecking motion. Prior to obturation, gauge the prepared canal using gutta percha master cones or nitai hand files to determine final canal dimensions. Final canal dimensions are expected to be 2 to 3 ISO sizes larger than the initial apical size. More information regarding obturation after SAF preparation can be found in the SAF System Clinical Guidelines Manual.